Hey everyone, it's Jessica and I'm back with another layout for the Thermal Web Design team. And today I am using some alcohol inks on this layout and some various Thermal Web adhesives with some of the adhesive transfers. Oh so basically what I'm doing is I'm applying some of the clear blending solution over top my sheet of clear acetate. And then I am just sprinkling over some various shades of alcohol inks across the page. So I'm using three different shades of blues and then a yellow and an orange. So all I'm doing is just um, kind of adding those right on top of where I put the blending solution. And then I'm using that blowing tool to kind of spread them out and blend them in together. So I love how this looks. You can actually keep layering these on top of each other as well and create a really, really cool look and effect. So then I'm pulling out some gold foil because I wanted some gold flecks on top of my alcohol inks. And if they're wet enough and um, not super wet, but like if they're still drying, I guess, um, you can actually adhere these foil sheets to the um, alcohol inks on some spots so that you have just some gold flecks in it, which is what I did. But it's really, really hard to see it on camera. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just um, applying some pressure and just rubbing the foil on top of my alcohol inks just to transfer some of the gold flecks to it. So just something a little bit different that you can do with some deco foil. I just love how those alcohol inks just kind of float right across that page and how it turns out. It's just so pretty. So I'm gonna work on my photo here now. I'm pulling out some of the easy tear tape. I think this is the half inch size. Um, I really like using that size for the backs of my photos to mat them. Just matting with some smooth white cardstock, and I've trimmed that down. And I pulled out the scrap of the smooth white cardstock to actually work on my title. So I'm just stamping the hello stamp, it's from a, one of our previous releases in the shop. And I'm going to stamp that right onto my white cardstock. And then I've applied some um, Versamark ink with it and some embossing powder. And then I'm going to heat that up to actually heat emboss this. Hello. Um, and then I'm just going to cut that out. So that's going to be my title. I'm going to use that along with um, some of the adhesive transfers that I've pulled out, which you'll see here in a moment. Um, I am going to make my title say hello, love, because this is actually a photo of me and my husband recently. Um, I think this was from Easter this year, and we were just posing in our annual <laughs> selfie for Easter. <laughs> it seems like um, a thing that we do every year now, so um, why not keep up the tradition? And this is our annual selfie, so I'm just culling out my title here, which is going to say again, hello, love, and uh, my hello is heat embossed, and the love part is from the adhesive transfers so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off of the transfer sheet and I've actually cut it apart from my transfer sheet first and then I pulled that um, backing off of it and adhered to my white cardstock by running through my hot laminator and then I have sandwiched that between um, a craft and carrier sheet to actually run it through and then I'm going to pull that top sheet off here as you see and lay my foil right down on top with the silver side down and the foil side up and then I'm just going to cut out around it after I've run it through my hot laminator once again. So um, I've used a lower setting on my laminator. It doesn't take too much heat to actually make those transfer whenever you run them through. So that's kind of nice. And then I'm just going to map my photo again with uh, one of the papers from the Vicki Booten Where To Next collection. That's actually the collection that I'm using for this layout, but I've pulled out a bunch of random bits from my stash to go along with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put down my photo here on my layout, but first I'm going to splatter with some... <laughs> <laughs> with some black um, splatters and I use the black Heidi Swap color shine for that one. And then just some easy tear tape on the back of my photo again to make sure that that's stuck down real nice and it's not going to go anywhere on my layout. It's definitely stuck down for life and I know that I won't have to worry about it. So I'm just pulling out my, sorry, my baby girl is here playing beside me and she's just having a field day right now. <laughs> Um, so I am adhering my title down with some of the liquid ultra bond glue and I just use a corsage pin. If you've seen me before, mine usually plugs up. So, um, when I first use it, I just use a corsage pin to poke the top of it to unplug it. So I am also using some of these 3d foam squares in the white in the box to pop up the rest of my title. And as you can see, I had a little whoopsie moment and I actually dropped it 
onto the bottom of my layout and I got really worried that it was going to leave a mark there but it actually came off just fine and left absolutely no marks or trail but if it did and this was paper it probably would have um but you I, you can also use um there's a glue eraser adhesive eraser in the shop that you can use to um take off your little boo-boos whenever you drop things which is really nice so I found these little bows in my collection from an old hip kit club kit and I pulled that out and I just loved it because it was black and white. I'm trying to use a lot of black on this layout. So I'm sticking um, with just black, mainly black embellishments other than little hearts that I cut out of the Vicky Booten background paper that I picked out. I didn't do that on camera because you didn't need to watch me cut out a million of those little hearts. Um, but I pulled out this little bow. Um, the liquid adhesive was not adhering to it because it's like a fabric type of material. It's, it's very strange. It's more like a, kind of like a canvas type bow. So that Ultra Bond adhesive probably would work, but I didn't really feel like waiting for it to dry. So I ended up pulling out some glue dots and using those. So that worked out for perfectly fine then. So I'm just going to adhere that down and I'm gonna actually um, try to use the glue on that to stick it down to my layout. I thought it would stick okay on the clear acetate, but it was having trouble sticking with the liquid glue. So I just pull out some glue dots for that too. So when in doubt, if you can't get something to stick down, use glue dots because they are super duper sticky and they are not going anywhere. Um, these little buttons I thought were super cute and would go on this layout really nicely. So I pulled those out. Um, those are from an old hip kit club. These little gold um, embellishments are like leaves and little flowers. I think those might be from a Maggie Holmes kit that I had at one point. Um, I think it's Maggie Holmes. It looks like it, but I'll check. And yeah, basically I'm just using a lot of ram random things. I have a, a Mombi kit here, Mombi stickers, and... I'm just putting some thread behind that one to put right behind, uh, right beside our faces there on our photo. And I've also cut some cute little butterflies out. Do you see the blue, the black butterflies there? Those are actually from a Catherine Puller die set. Um, I think they're called Butterfly Buddies. And um, I got that recently in an order and I just fell in love with them. I think they're just so adorable. And I love to pull them in on these layouts when I can. But I wanted to keep all my embellishments kind of monochrome other than those hearts in the background because I have so much color going on in my alcohol ink. So I wanted to keep all of my embellishments mainly black and white. So basically from here, I just continue embellishing and just kind of building this up, adding just little stickers and random bits from my stash, um, popping up all of these little hearts with my 3D foam squares and then the butterflies, I'm just gonna adhere with my Ultra Bond liquid glue.
So here is the finished layout. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this process today. And if you are interested in purchasing anything that I've used today, I will pop the links down below for you. And um, I hope I've inspired you to create something beautiful today. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.